And video number six, congratulations if you've followed me so far. So we have built the bird, we've done absolutely everything. Okay. What we need to do now is paint the beast. Now, I absolutely struggled like I couldn't believe to get a desert storm pinky colour. Uh, Vallejo Model Air do one and the place that I live there are six model outlets in a 15 mile radius of me and not one of them had a bottling okay uh this is a shout out to andy norfolk down at sesco and hemsworth community scale model club who without hesitation He's building a 1 in 48 Jaguar and doing it in this colour. But he knew that I was cracking on with this build. And he said to me, Mark, I've got a bottle of MRP 185. Mr. Paint 185, it's a lack of paint. And you can have that. Because I know that you're keen to crack on. Uh, what can I say? Andy, mate, you're an absolute legend. Uh, as it happens, it's a 30 mil bottle. A little bit more dearer than Vallejo and Tamiya. I think it's on a par with uh, other Mr. Hobby, I think it is. I think they're a little bit more expensive. And the Mission Models paints, I think they're a little bit more expensive. But actually, as it turns out, I only used about a third of a bottle on this entire kit. Uh, so I've told him and I've said it can come and pick it back up. So, the primer coat, let's start with primer coat. Uh, started with armament, okay, uh, which is what I always do because I build armament first. And now, if you just look at that, that is a the base colour there, that's XF78. Now, wooden deck tan. Did, did I put a primer coat underneath that? What are you saying? Mark, I'm confused. You're saying that you painted it in XF78 and that's a Tamiya paint. But what primer coat did you use underneath that? I didn't because I don't, I don't use primer. My primer coats on all my builds that I've got here in my little space are all primed with Tamiya paint. Okay, and what I try and do is use a bit of a contrasting colour. So what I did was I primed all my kit, all of it, in XF78, and then mottled it in XF66, which I think is either a dark brown or a red brown. Uh, did the bird, again, exactly the same, uh, the base colour, XF78, uh, there from a different angle. Uh, and this one now. So various parts there at various paint stages. So there's some that's uh, just bare base, XF78. Uh, and then there's a few parts that are uh, based and then modelled, XF66. Okay. Popped the nose on. Uh, I put the weight in first, obviously, uh, popped the nose on, primed it, uh, which is uh, another reason that we use a primer coat, is so that you can see any imperfections. And at first, I thought I was quite happy with the nose fit, uh, I've got to be honest. But then, you know, remembered what I'd said uh, and what my mantra is in that it weren't right. And I have to ask myself the question, is it right? Am I happy with that? And I knew that it was no on both accounts. Uh, I knew it wasn't right. And I knew that I weren't going to be happy with it. And doing a video build, I knew that it had to be absolutely bang on. So you can see that next picture there, uh, nose on, and it's got a boatload of fill around it. Obviously, smoothed that off. Didn't use a coarse. I used a medium and then a finishing sponge. 
to make that seamless. The main build XF78 XF66, which is round the panel lines uh, on the panel edges, uh, did that. And, I, and I'm lucky. I'm not lucky. I've, I've earned it. I've got an Infinity, Arder and Steenbeck Infinity CR Plus uh, with a 0 0.15 needle in it. So I can get in close, really close. Uh, so XF78, XF66, X2 white and some XF1 uh, up the tail for the sup, sut uh, sort of streak uh, and at the back of the vents as well. All mottled, pre-shaded. Uh, and all good to go. Different angles. You can see panel lines, panel centres, uh, all, all different sort of shades, different colours, and I'm trying to give it some kind of 3D sort of look and different angle again. Uh, shadow underneath. Uh, I didn't put any X2 underneath, didn't feel the need uh, to put any white underneath. I, I just sort of concentrated on the darker colours. Uh, the reason for that is because I knew that there weren't going to be a lot of sun, desert sun, uh, beating down on belly. Okay, unless obviously the flow, 90% of the mission's inverted. Okay, so primer, you can see what I've done there. Uh, and then, like I said, onto the paint, my paint of choice, beautifully donated, but he's having it back. MRP 185 Desert Pink. Uh, and the first thing that I did, I did the rudder, the tail. Because the paint is literally, it's a lacquer based paint, so it is so thin, it's like water. And I shot that through my infinity at 5 psi, 5 psi, okay. Uh, now, on the back of my infinity, I've got a trigger lock which is set at number four. Uh, so uh, open the valve uh, back to full trigger back and distancing at about two inch, two and a half inch, obviously moving in and out as I felt necessary. Uh, I did the tail uh, trying not to cover the pre-shading black that I'd done. Uh because I didn't want to do paint and then black that up. I wanted to do black and paint up to it, and it worked an absolute treat. Uh, I did that pre-shading in primer stage. Different angle then. You can see uh, top coat on uh, uh, and looking looking pretty nice. Uh, different angle again. Uh, just looking at that from a different point of view. And then finally, one more perspective on that. I've got to say, I am absolutely sold with this MRP paint. Uh, for you guys that have tried it uh, and are sort of like nodding your heads and saying, yeah, I know what he's on about, then that's brilliant. For you guys that are Tamiya users, Vallejo users, Mission Models, Attacker, etc., etc., uh, what's, what's Mark on about with this MRP 185? What is all that? Uh, get on Google. Have a look, uh, and uh, I think it's only available from uh, the old Jolly Boy in Bolton, uh, and I think one more outlet, uh, or you can order it direct from Czechoslovakia, I think it is, I think it's a, a Czech paint. But, uh, yeah, it's absolutely superb. Obviously bought uh, the correct uh, solution to clean my airbrush out after I'd, uh, after I'd used it. Doesn't need thinning, thinning. It's pre-thinned, uh, and it goes on an absolute dream. It dries literally straight away, and the best thing about it is, is because it's lacquer, it's as hard as nails. Okay. So I have primed it. We've talked about that, and I've painted it in that MRP one eight five. I didn't do any post shading on this bird because of all the pre work that I'd done. Because of all the pre work that I'd done, and because the paint, the actual top paint is so thin, uh, all that work that I'd done prior to painting shows through. 
uh, and because I'd not mottled it, I didn't mottle it. If you look at the primer, primer stage on this video, I did mottle the fuel tanks, but I didn't mottle the bird. I did panel lining on the bird. So it's all showed through. Uh, after the paint, uh, gave that a couple of hours. Uh, I say a couple, you know, six or seven hours. Six, seven hours to dry. Uh, and then I'm on to varnish then. Varnish, uh, I use my trusty, very, very trusty old uh, Bart Sharp 186. Uh, love that airbrush. Uh, and the reason that I use that one is because it's got a 0 0.4 needle in it. Okay, and I don't want to start messing about interchanging my infinities. Uh, and the gloss of choice is Hardclad 2. So let me just uh, spin my little paint carousel around here and I'll grab that. So it's uh, ALC 600 Aqua Gloss Alclad 2, uh, 120 mil, uh, made in the UK. Uh, it's got a yellow tint to it, and my bottle is literally now empty. Uh, glossed it in that, and then uh, and then I'm on to decals, kit decals. Let's talk about kit decals. I love this particular kit. Uh, <laughs> I, I do, I, I, that's why I've built so many. But for this particular bird, I thought, you know what, I'm going to stick my neck out here and I am going to spend a couple of quid. Now, resin, buckets, exhaust, undercarriage, you know, uh, office work, not for me. Thank you very much. Uh, not interested. But I have splashed out on two things. One of them is Decal Pack. And the other is I've got a metal pitted tube. But we'll talk about decals. Decals is from Hannans. It's the extra decal. Uh, and the sheet number is X32070. And it's the three schemes on that particular sheet. Uh, again, which is an absolute bonus. It's uh, 1 in 48. Uh, and it comes with uh, everything that you need. Okay, uh, and obviously I wanted the pinky, pinky decals. Uh, I'm just going to pop a picture up because the first thing that I found absolutely staggering was the relation between decals from the kit in relation to size as a comparison to the extra decal set. And what I'm showing you there is the no steps. So on the left hand side, you've got no step footprints, the boot prints from the kit. Okay. And just to the right hand side of that, you should be able to see the no steps, uh, a little strip of no steps from the aftermarket decals. And I've always, no, I haven't always, I've started to get a little bit reluctant on using especially things like no steps because personally for me they just look miles out of scale and and i'm no professional scale modeler by any means i just come up garden just to get out of way but even i can tell as a complete and utter amateur and novice that the kit decals are massively out of scale massively okay the no steps in this kit seriously would not look amiss on a 1 in 32. They are so big in relation to the correctly sized extra decal no step decals. Okay, so uh, yeah, at the aftermarket ones, they seem to be in scale. Uh, there's a ton of no steps to put on this, uh, but again, because they are so tiny, they, they don't look out of place. They actually uh, enhance the kit. Uh, a, a lot of people, you get asked that question, which part of the build do you like the most? Oh, I like building it. I like painting it. I like decaling it. It looks like something's done. But with these decals, they are so good. They bring an enhancement to your finished build that is not like a punch in the face if that makes sense, okay, so uh, the mouth, uh, the shark's mouth, 
uh, that went on all right. Uh, and the tail, the tail out, the tornado, 25 years in operations, that went okay. I did add a V and a 1 because this is tornado number 6 in my particular build. A uh, little bit of a close-up there. Now, at this point, obviously, I'm deckling over gloss. And you know what? I weren't sure that they were going to conform right. And again, I'm talking about Solent set here. But uh, remember, this is aftermarket decals. And the issues that I'd had prior to this kit with using Solent set on Revel decals uh, did in no way reflect on how those two solutions performed with aftermarket decals uh, because Solon set uh, absolutely wonderful on these particular decals. And it just goes to show, you know, uh, I've seen videos like you. We watch the videos and somebody will say, oh, decals are really thick. And, you know, I sit back in my couch and I think, shut up, you muppet. Uh, decals are thick, you know, we're talking thousandth of a mil, you know, decals are thick. I stand corrected. Uh, you you compare an aftermarket decal like the extra decal one against the Revel kit one, they are leagues apart. And when you say, I'm now going to say it, I'm actually going to say it, the Revel decals are far too thick. Okay, uh, different angle on the nose out there, so shark's mouth, and and again, because this is my build, uh, I've just had a little bit of a, a bit of nose out there, uh, it's Danger Betty, uh, I've chosen that particular scheme, because that's my nana's name, uh, she's called Betty, Elizabeth, okay, uh, and it's just, a, it's, my, it's just my little thing that I like to do. Uh, tail art again, tornado, 25 years in operations, and then down the rudder, you've got all the actual operations and the years, uh, and a quick flick around the other side as well, that'll replicate that. Okay, pin and oil wash then, uh, flory dark dirt was my pin of choice, I do apply it to the panel lines, I don't bathe it, uh, the reason that I don't bathe it is because What's the point in bathing it when you're going to wipe it all off? Uh, get a grip. So I'm into panel lines, uh, let it dry, and, and then obviously a cotton swab just to sort of dye, you know, just to get the excess off. The oils, my oils aren't any fancy oils. They are from a shop called The Range in the UK. Uh, and basically what I've dub, done there is so I've, I've dabbed it. Don't forget your matte coat now. We've, we've, we've glossed again and put a matte coat on. I forgot to say that. Uh, matte, matte coat before the oils otherwise it won't work uh, little bits of uh, blending and stippling and uh, some browns and reds and yellows and just sort of blending it all in okay uh, and then a tiny little bit of black uh, up the tail uh, just to cover that V1 uh, I, I did need to do that I was instructed by a certain young friend of mine uh, thank you, Reese, for that. And that just about concludes the actual build, if you will. Uh, the pit at tube that I've ordered hasn't come yet, which is, <clears throat> I'm cheating, that's why the aircraft is angled that way. Uh, I have taken a couple of pictures with the plastic kit pit it on, uh, and how shite is that? Uh, but everything else is simply stunning. Okay. Uh, I'm going to bring you out of stationary position now. Uh, and there she is. I'm going to pop my cup to one side. And I'm going to just grab hold of her and bring her around like this. Just so that you can see. So there you go so shark's mouth on and you can see with that matte coat uh you know a little bit I, what, what i've tried to do is just i've just tried to give it a little bit of weathering uh not too much uh and then a danger betty and then inside you can see my harnesses that i made uh and i have got the canopy uh locking mechanism you can see it there right in the middle of your screen uh 
I've added them as well. Okay, little bit of a little bit of a decal there, just to, and again, it's just on a little bit of theatre. Let's just see if I can make that focus. Probably not. Uh, slats in open position, and yeah, we've got uh, grey into the colour. Uh, done that on purpose just to give it a little bit of weathering, and then again, a little bit of streaking on top. Uh, I've got to try and make this focus, obviously. So I'm in and out. Uh, you can see that there's uh, floury wash on it. Okay. Uh, flaps and slats then uh, at the back, uh, raised and lowered and one thing another. And then the air brake there, I've cut my strut down uh, a little bit because I didn't want it uh, elevating in its full position. I've just refocused there so that you can see that. Okay. Uh, and then that's it. Look, the, the V and the 1 for number 6. Uh, and I was particularly pleased on how these colours uh, turned out. You can see up here you've got a lighter colour and then a darker colour and that's all pre-paint work. Uh, cans you can see at that side as well. Okay, nice. I'm just going to flick around now and just try and keep it in focus for you without anything sort of dropping off. And again, we'll start from front. So pit it tube we know is moving. Shark's mouth, again, uh, a couple of little decals there. I'm just going to pop my phone down uh, and see if I can get a focus on that. Bit of a Grim Reaper, a couple of kill markings and a killer. Uh, and again, there's not much else really to show on this particular side that you aren't seeing on the other side. Everything is floury washed and looking lovely. Uh, and as far as the build is concerned, then yeah, absolutely spot on. Don't usually turn my builds upside down, but I will do. Exactly the same underneath. Okay, all worked out a treat. Uh, as soon as that pitted tube comes, uh, I'll be able to take some photographs. Let me zoom in again, refocus, uh, and there it is. Quite happy with this bird. Uh, it's turned out absolutely spot on. And... Uh, from from building it and all those new things that I tried uh, right through until paint job and weathering and everything else that goes with it, uh, absolutely spot on. What's next? I've got another tornado to build. It's the farewell, uh, but because I got three markings with my extra decal set, I'm actually going to go for that particular build there. Uh, I've been out and bought my paint already, my red, my cherry red and my uh, royal blue. Can't wait to get started on that uh, and add it to my collection. Hope these videos have been of some help for you. If they haven't, I do apologise for taking your time up, uh, but uh, that's how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe, everybody, and uh, see you on the next video. Cheers.